Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Ride the News Guy. Today's such an awesome day. I'm here at the Walnut Street Theater with uh, the fantastic and absolutely incredible, and should I say fabulous, <laughs> um, Danielle Williamson, who's currently starring as Dolores Van Cartier, also Sister Mary Clarence, here at the Walnut Street Theater production of Sister Act. So I'm so excited. We're going to chat with her, talk about her crazy stage credits. This girl has <laughs> has been around the stage. Let's just say that. She has some awesome credits with her. And then I'll give you some look uh, and a little look at the costumes. So, hello, Danielle. Hi, Rai. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. Good, good. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule um, to chat. Of course. No problem. No problem. So, where has the inspiration come um, for you while playing um, Dolores in the Riverside production in, F in Florida and now here? And also, where did you draw on that inspiration? Did you take some stuff out of the book from the movie production with Whoopi? Did you take some stuff from Patina, um, who, Patina Miller, who starred and originated this role in the West End production and in Broadway? What... Um, wh where did you draw your inspiration? I actually did not draw my inspiration from uh, Patina, who was the original. I actually didn't get a chance to see it on Broadway. Um, I, I saw the movie, I've seen the movie several times, um, and I just pulled little bits and pieces of ideas from Whoopi. Um, I don't ever like to necessarily recreate what somebody else has done. I always like to pull and draw from my own inspiration. and. I am, you know, Dolores and I are kind of one and the same because I, I like to live out loud. I'm a non, no nonsense type of, of woman. Um, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on in a minute <laughs> without blinking an eye and not feeling any kind of way about it. <laughs> so a lot of my uh, character, the character Dolores comes from me. Um, but I did use the movie for inspiration. And that's great acting for you folks. If, <laughs> <laughs> that is great acting and a good performer. <laughs> the text informs things as well. Oh, of course, of course. Yes. Now, as many of you know or may not know until you see the show, um, you have, you being Dolores, have a ton of awesome costumes from yeah, the... Yeah, I do. <laughs> From the opening number to then, yes, which is what we have right here, um, to the habits, to then the changing habits, sparkly habits, the, you know, the high purple boots. You have so many cool costume changes and yes. accessories. I love it. Let me ask you, um, how many costume changes do you have? And if you, and how many, let me ask you, what's your quickest quick change? Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I have about a million costumes and a million costume changes. Um, <laughs> the quickest change I will have to say is the change out of, this is, I'm at the end of the show. I don't want to give anything away, right. but um, I get out of my habit into my sparkly nun. That is one of the quickest changes that I have. Uh, actually, those last two changes in the show are the, are the quickest ones for me. What is your favorite song um, or scene in this? I'll tell you, for me, I absolutely love Fabulous Baby. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have that on my, uh, on my music, and I can't, it's such an uplifting song. Like yeah. whenever, I'm, whenever something good happens for me or I have something good going on, I'll blare that, and it's, like, it's just so awesome. So how about for you? Um, for me, I actually enjoy Raise Your Voice so much. I think that is the moment in the show where not only is Dolores actively being listened, like they are actively listening and taking in what she has to say. Nobody's ever listened to her or given her that sort of attention, so that's new for her, and it's new for these nuns coming out of their shell and really finding their voice. It's a beautiful moment in the show and I look forward to it every night. Um, as far as scenes go, I have to say my favorite scene is with Sweaty Eddie um, in Act 2. And the reason why I say that is because that's the moment that she is actually allowed to be vulnerable and allowed to finally receive love and real affection. Something she has not experienced dealing with her Curtis, the gangster. So how has this role of um, Dolores Van Cartier slash Sister Mary Clarence changed you as an actress? Has it, you know, given you a new insight? How have you taken um, this character into your personal life? And secondly, part B, what do you feel are um, Dolores and Sister Mary Clarence's strengths and weaknesses? And they can go together um, 
you know, they can be one and the same if you feel they are the same. I feel like um, as far as my the role influencing my life, mm-hmm. I do feel like the Sister Mary Clarence part of me is... It's, it's, it allows me to be open. I'm not I'm not very good about being vulnerable and open. I'm learning how to do that. Um, I think I think we all are. I think that's a struggle that a lot of people yeah. have. And it's like I've been hurt a lot and like this business is tough and it just it, it, it forces you to put up a wall. And this role is is opening me up in so many ways and I it, I just think it's really awesome it's kind of overwhelming and scary at the same time it's like it's amazing but it's like oh my god this is a new feeling for me you know being able to be unapologetically open and loving with everyone um still careful but this role has definitely allowed uh, given me permission to be more loving and genuine with people some of her strengths are she uh, are Dolores is very powerful, very has a very strong presence. I think that that works against her because it can come off as uh, a little bit too much, uh, a bit aggressive. Um, but I do think her weakness is falling for the wrong types of guys. She has a very skewed view of what love is. Now, switching over to the big stage, Miss Danielle, as I was saying, is no stranger. She has appeared on Broadway in, I believe, three shows. Is that correct? Yes, sir. They include Memphis, the musical Rocky, and Kathy Lee Gifford's um, show Scandalous. Now, I wanted to talk to you in particular about Memphis. Mm -hmm. Memphis, you like most when you got to understudy the role of Felicia. What did you really like the most? I mean, for me, that role, I wish I could play that role. I mean, that role is so beautiful. It's got some incredible numbers. Someday, uh, you know, uh, steal your rock and roll. Um, It's really good. What do you, um, what did you like most about playing her? Um, What I loved most about playing Felicia was being able to sing all of those powerhouse numbers. She just has such a presence about her um that is it's kind of it's it's not as aggressive you know it's very sweet but it's also like there's there's a balance of strength there as well um so finding that was really really interesting um being able to be vulnerable yet strong at the same time and really going for what you want so i love the acting process of it as well um, singing is always going to be my first love, but finding those, you know, really awesome moments and balances with Felicia was like really cool. What do you think is the best advice you could give to aspiring young performers who are either currently trying to pursue professional theater mm-hmm. um, or are trying or or in professional theater, let's say in your shoes as a professional, but haven't yet had the opportunity to be able to do a national tour or do Broadway or even regional and are trying to make it. What is the best advice you could give to them? Um, There are several things I could say, but what I always, always, always offer up for advice is to never stop learning and never give up. This business is difficult okay it's really really hard that's not what I wanted to say but we gotta you know keep it PG Um, it's it's difficult and there will be days when you're like you know what I can't do this I don't know if I can do this am I right for this am I you know what am I doing is this is this the path I want let me tell you if it is your passion go for it go for it but always be learning, always be in in voice lessons, dance class, whatever it is that you want to work on or that you feel you need to work on, work on it. (laughs) And keep, persistence is key. Persistence is key, absolutely. Because there will be a million people telling you you can't do it. And I've had people my whole life, not my family, thank God, they're very supportive, but I've had people my whole life tell me no and that I can't do it and that I'm not gonna make it as an actress professionally and that I'm not gonna do this and I'm not gonna do that. And I'm proving every single one of those people wrong. And not from a cocky standpoint, but it feels damn good to be here and to be in this position and 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 making more accomplishments and more goals, setting more goals and busting them out the park. 
every time. Um, I do want to ask, I know we are living in the moment and present, but do you have anything coming up in the near future after this finishes that you're working on? Anything you're thinking about? I do, actually. Um, I am slated to do this same show again in St. Louis uh, in the fall, um, but we'll see what happens because anything can happen between now and then, Mm -hmm. you know. Um, But as far as other projects and concern, that's coming up. Um, I have a little something I'm doing in Atlanta for a friend. But, you know, staying busy, and then I'm going to go on a yoga retreat. I need that. (laughs) I need that. So that's what's coming up, you know. Well, listen, Danielle, it was so wonderful to chat with you. Um, we you too, right? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You have been I one of my favorite people so far to interview. Your personality you. has just been like, it, it's like it's lit up the room. So you. you're certainly welcome. My pleasure. Welcome back. I am here again with Danielle. Hi. <laughs> so she has been gracious enough to not only allow me into her dressing room to interview her, but to show us <laughs> some of the awesome, awesome costumes that... Dolores Van Cartier and Sister Mary Clarence get to wear throughout the show. So, Danielle, tell us, what do we have right here? Oh, what we have here is a blue smirk. Um, Well, we we lovingly call it the blue smirk in the show. It is the coat that I get from Curtis. It's a gift. And I want it to be a white fox fur, and it's this. So, that's what we got. Um, I never actually wear this, but I do get to play with it in fabulous baby and I drag it around and do different fun things with it it's very soft Uh, yes it's very soft it's very soft indeed yes I was just feeling it and here we have yes a habit this thing is actually very very comfortable there are lots of layers lots of layers (laughs) hot very hot (laughs) but um it's like a built-in workout you know I'm sweating under there you know I'm getting my my workout on um, but it's actually really nice because it breathes in the back. So oh, okay. there's like buttons um, at the top and at the bottom. There's like a little clip there, mm-hmm. but it's open in the back. And then this little number, I love this one. This is like, I like to call this my grown Dolores look um, because it's a little more sophisticated. I have pants on. Still got to do purple because that's her, that's her color, honey. That's her aura. So (laughs) um, I get to wear this fun little number in act two. It's one of my quick changes. And I like these pants. They're very comfortable. They're velvety. Let's see. Oh, they are. Those are. Damn, I like them a lot. And they're actually not very hot. They feel feel pretty comfortable. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. So those are some of the costumes. I can't show you the fun, like the fun, fun, fun ones, because you got to come to the show to see those. Um, of course, and we're not going to give it all away. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I've seen them because I saw the show, but you have to come see this show. It's absolutely incredible. If you love the movie, you will absolutely love this musical. It's a little bit different than the movie, but in such a good way. And it's family friendly, too, which is even cooler. Um, you know, a couple of car swords, but you know, whatever. <laughs> but, it, 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 but that's okay. It is so good. Sister Act the Musical runs us here at the Walnut Street Theater until July 17th. Make sure you get your tickets now. They are selling really fast. If you want to see this awesome powerhouse of a woman, Danielle, sparkle, shine, and strut her stuff as Dolores in those purple boots. I'll and, be in the blue fur. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you know where to find her. She'll be in the blue fur. Check it out. This is the um, closing show of the season. I highly recommend it. And um, you can visit their website, which will appear at the bottom of the screen to buy tickets and continue to keep up with all that I'm doing. Visit my website, ridethenewsguy.com. I have an awesome summer coming up. Once again, thank you so much, Danielle. Right? Thank you for having me. Oh, my pleasure. See you all so soon. Bye-bye. Fabulous baby. Yes. yes. (laughs)